Welcome everybody to another tutorial video. Uh, this one we're going to be showing you how to access all of the features available for Mobile Security on Android for the McAfee LiveSafe product. So what we'll do is we'll get straight into it here. Um, apologies for me looking away from the camera but I'm, I'm looking at the McAfee on my other screen which is what you can see here in front of you. So what we've got here is the McAfee account page. So to access this you literally go to McAfee.com um, and sign into your account using the username and password that you used when you set up your McAfee account. And when you're in there, you'll see all of your devices across the top left. Okay, so you've got, uh, well, as you can see, I've got a couple of mobile phones, a couple of uh, PCs in there as well. Um, you basically click on the device that you want to look at. So I'm, I've highlighted my Android device at the moment. Uh, and then if you want to click on, if you want to access all of the information, so down here you get some of the features that are available for the device. So you can back up from there, you can change the pin code, view backup data. You can also locate it from there, you can sound the alarm, you can lock it and you can wipe it. Also has continuous tracking options down there as well. So if the, if the device has been lost um, or stolen, then uh, you can set up continuous tracking so that as soon as it's found on a network, it will pop up on your map and let you know where it is, which is quite cool. Okay, so to view all of the features that are available, you actually need to go to the McAfee Mobile Security uh, website which is uh, a second website. The reason why there's a second one is because this product's also available as a standalone product, so it needs a dashboard for those people that don't have the full security suite. So they might just have mobile security on one device, for example, so they still need to access that. So it's a, it's a second website that runs side by side. So to access that, the quickest way, if you're already in here, is to click on View Backup Data, and that will take you straight to that page. Alternatively, you can go straight to mobilesecurity.com and sign in that way as well and select the device in question. So once you click on view backup data, that will take you off to the mobile security website, as you can see. Um, and this one here gives you the full feature set on the left hand side there. Okay, the first one, as you can see here, is the locate one. So this uses Google Maps. <coughs> as it says down the bottom there, you can see Google. You can click on there to view a larger version of the map. You can also use the zoom controls and the, uh, the street view feature as well. So you can switch between map and satellite. So we'll change it to satellite for this uh, demonstration. You can see there that that's where my device currently is. You'll notice that I've also got a little purple watch icon there as well. That lets me know that I've got a smartwatch uh, connected to that as well. Okay, so also lets me know that my smartwatch is with my phone, which is quite handy. Um, also in there, um, it lets you know when it was last located. You can click on the locate device button and it will uh, uh, find the device as soon as it's on the network. And then again, you've got the continuous tracking for one hour or six hours, just in case you click locate device and it can't find it straight away. It might be turned off or it might be out of a signal zone. Uh, so click on one or six hours and like I say, it'll pop up on the map as soon as it connects to the network. Okay, next feature that we've got down here is the lock feature. Can you click on lock? Okay, so you get the, uh, the, get the screen here basically to, to edit. So you can edit the lock message. Click on the pencil icon there, you type whatever you like into this uh, box, which will appear on the screen of the locked device. So again, if it's been lost or stolen, then um, you can uh, put whatever message you like on the screen. You can lock the screen to stop anybody accessing your data, and all they'll be able to see is the lock message that you've put on there with some contact details, so hopefully whoever's got it will be able to return the device to you. You can also play an alarm feature as well. Okay, so you've got the screen, you've got the default alarm tone, you've got the default ringtone as well. You select whichever one of these that you want, and then when you click lock and alarm, it won't just lock the screen, but it will also make the device alarm sound as well. Uh, so even if the device is on silent, it will still sound the alarm, which is quite a handy feature. You know, if, if you if you've lost the device somewhere, uh, maybe in the building you're in, um, but you're not sure if somebody's got it or not, you can lock it and alarm it. The alarm will sound, you'll be able to find it um, when you follow the sounds of where, where it actually is. Uh, the scream is quite a, a horrible sound, to be honest with you. It is, it is what it says it is. It's a scream sound. So the, the device will actually scream to alert you to where it is, which is quite handy. Um, I, I will actually show you on the next feature. So I've got locate lock. The next one is alarm, so you can use the alarm on its own without the lock. This is very handy if you lose your device at home. Um, Maybe like me, you put your device on charge um, and, and leave it somewhere or, or not on charge, you put it down um, and uh, it's on silent. You know, you, you might not have the, the ring turned on so you can't pick up another phone and, and call it. 
uh, the alarm feature, as I mentioned before, will sound over the uh, the silent feature. So if I click on that now, you'll hear this uh, scream noise. Simply finds on the network. In live time, it's really good. There we go. So as you can tell, that's, that's quite a shocking sound. So it will let you know. I'll just stop that on the device. You get a screen come up on the device which uh, which has an alarm bell ringing and you get the option to stop the alarm on there. Because you didn't lock it, you can just press the stop alarm and it will stop that alarm. It also comes up on here once it's updated to say stop alarm as well, so you can stop it on the website too. But I'm sure you'll agree that's, that's quite a shocking noise and I'm sure whoever's got your device will soon put it back down again if it starts making that racket and they can't turn it off. Okay, so the next feature that we've got here is Capture Cam. This one's very handy for uh, for if somebody has got your device. So let's say, for instance, it's been stolen. Uh, what you can actually do is you can click on the Capture Cam feature here and you can check any one of these four messages. They're just standard stock messages, uh, but you can select any one of them you like. Press Send Message and that will send that message to your device. Okay. Now, it will come up on the device by way of pop-up message. Now, the only way to get rid of the pop-up message is to press OK on the message. As soon as you press OK on the message, it takes a forward-facing picture of the person that has it and then emails that picture to the owner of the device along with a map and a location, address, etc. So that uh, you can then take that picture of the person that has the phone to the address, hopefully match the picture up to the person and ask very nicely for your device back, uh, which is quite a good feature. The other way the Capture Cam works is that you can um, uh, have it set up so that when you're trying to access a device, so if you've got a PIN code or a, or a password swipe unlock thing, uh, if somebody puts that in a few times uh, incorrectly, Capture Cam will automatically activate and take the picture of the person holding the device. So you know if somebody's trying to hack into your device, trying to bypass your security measures, it will take that forward facing picture and email it to you along with the address and um, the map as well which is, again, a very good feature. Moving on, so you've got the Track Sim feature there. So when, when you click on Track Sim, it brings up the, uh, the, the number of the, uh, the SIM card that is in the device. So if somebody else uh, takes your device and they take your SIM card out and they put their own SIM card in, it will come up on your account page here with the, the telephone number of the, uh, the SIM in question. So uh, not only will you have the picture of the person via Capture Cam, You'll also be able to give them a call as well and ask for your device back, which again is a very handy feature. Following that one, you've got backup, wipe, factory reset and restore. So you can go into your backup settings here. You can back up your contacts, your text messages and your call logs, okay, which is very handy, obviously. So uh, so you can keep checking your contacts, text messages and call logs. You can also use the restore feature, which is this one down here, to restore all that information back to the device. If, let's say, for instance, again, it gets stolen or, or you lose it. Um, but you find your device or you, somebody returns it to you, you can restore your information back to the device again. Uh, alternatively, if you get a new device, you can use the restore feature to restore it to the new device, okay? which is also very handy if, you, if you're swapping devices, if you're changing phones, for example. You've also got the factory reset feature in there along with wipe. So uh, again, if your device has been lost or stolen, you don't want people to access the information in it. You've got all these other measures, obviously, to get your device back and protect your, your device itself. Uh, but your data and stuff might be uh, very personal to you, so you might not want anybody to access that. If you want to make 100% sure that nobody can access your data, you can hit the wipe button here. So when you click on wipe, it gives you the option to wipe your contacts, your photos, your videos, storage card, and your call logs as well. So you can check all of that information, hit back up and wipe, or just wipe if you've already backed up, and it will back up your information and wipe all of that from your device, okay, so nobody else will be able to ever see it. Again, once it's wiped from there, providing you've done the backup, if you do get your device back, you can restore that information uh, to your old device or to a new one if you get it. Okay, also in there you've got your data, so all of your backed up information is down here. So you've got your contacts, text messages, call logs and media. So you can access any of that on the website as well. So you can see your contacts, text messages, call logs and media. You don't need to put it back onto a mobile device to be able to view it. You can view it on the web page here. Okay, so that is the Android features for uh, mobile security for McAfee, uh, which uh, which a lot of people don't even know they've got, to be honest with you. Um, it's uh, You've obviously got your, your protection, your malware protection, and, uh, and what have you that, that comes as standard, 
but all of these features here are designed to help you to protect your device and your data. Um, um, me personally, my, my data is a lot more valuable than my device. You know, I, I can replace my device, but a lot of the information that I've got on my mobile phone, um, I can't actually uh, replace because it could be photographs like my children, for example, um, which uh, which once you've taken them, obviously there's your memory right there. And if, if your device goes missing, uh, that memory's gone, unless you backed it up uh, or you know taking precautions to, to get your device back or to at least protect the data on the device. So there we go. That is uh, McAfee Mobile Security in a nutshell. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial video. And if you've got any questions at all, leave them in the comments box below. Uh, also subscribe to the channel. You know, I'll, I'll be uh, making more uh, videos in the future, tutorials and what have you. Um, and also check out my other videos as well. There might be something else that can help you out with, uh, with anything that you might need. Also, if you need tutorials or you need help with anything in particular, drop me a comment because you never know I might be able to help out. Um, it's it's what I do at the end of the day. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, pop a like on the video if it's been helpful for you and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.